Late clock. High off the window, and there's Mojave King on the putback. I mean, starting with the NBA Academy, I mean, you guys are starting to churn out some crazy talent between, you know, yourself, Dyson, Josh Giddy, uh, Tyrese Proctor. Uh, I just wanted you to, like, speak on that experience a little bit, you know, how it's kind of helped you uh, become the player that you are right now. Yeah, the Global Academy was really good for me. Uh, it kind of, you know, takes in young talent and just starts developing it real early into a professional athlete. Um, and I think uh, I really needed that at the time. And, uh, it's, it's done well for a lot of people now. You know, obviously guys like Dyson and uh, Josh Gideon now in the NBA. And we got a lot of other guys coming through the system now that will be really good as well. So it's a great program for young guys uh, to be in like a professional setting uh, from an early age. It was pretty crazy when I'm like looking through, you know, your history. I feel like you're insanely well traveled for a dude that's only 20 years old. I mean, and apologize if I butcher any of these, but like you went from New Zealand to Brisbane to Canberra to Cairns to Adelaide. Like that's, you know, not a lot of people are doing that much traveling, playing basketball at the age of 20. So, you know, do you feel like, you know, when you went to the NBL Next Stars and, you know, you played for two different teams there, did that make your decision to come over to America and play in the G League night like a little bit easier doing that? Somewhat, you know, I... I, uh, that was my first experience as a pro. So that was, you know, invaluable to me. That was, uh, I needed that. I feel like it, even in hindsight, you know, obviously I wanted to go there and do well and go straight to the NBA. That was the plan. And I, it didn't work out like that. But having those two years of experience now is uh, something that I really value. I think it's going to help me a lot in my upcoming season. And uh, for the rest of my career, I learned a lot of great lessons. Uh, I didn't get, you know, some of the opportunities that I perhaps wanted, but you know, some of the things I learned, I'm going to definitely use throughout the rest of my career. You know, did you get to have any conversations with like whether it was Dyson or, you know, Kai Soto, even though his opportunity got cut short with the Ignite last year? Do you have any, uh, you know, opportunities to have conversations with them that kind of led you to the decision of the Ignite? You know, I was teammates with Kai last year. I didn't really talk to him about it too much, but, you know, me and Dyson have the same agent and me and Dyson are pretty close. So I spoke to my agent a lot and Dyson a little bit about it. Now, I, they made it a pretty easy decision in the end. It was something that I really wanted to do. So it was just, you know, getting, uh, seeing if the team was even interested at first, I think we actually reached out to them. So, um, yeah, it was it was good. Uh, it kind of seemed like a perfect situation. So do you feel like now, you know, you had those two years of professional experience. Now you're coming in. It's kind of a unique situation that you already have some pro experience under your belt. Now you're going to be playing professionally again this year. Um, you know, whether it's like the training or the way that they go about practices or it's film or anything like that. You know, like how how do you feel like you're more prepared this year than you were, you know, say your two years in the Next Stars program? Yeah, I got, I got to learn from a lot of really good players. Now I got to learn from guys that have already been in the NBA, already been in the G League uh, for a long time. So I, I got to see, you know, what they're about, really, how they go about their business, you know, what they do at training, how hard they go. I got to see, you know, everything firsthand every day. So um, just kind of getting an idea for how it goes at the next level is really valuable. As you're watching film, I don't know if the coaches have you got, have you watching film on any specific players or if there's like specific NBA players that you like to watch film on or try and model your game after. You know, is there anyone they're kind of having you key in on, uh, you know, because there's similarities in your game? Not the coaches here so much, but um, just myself personally and my agent. Uh, we watch a lot of film on Devin Booker just because I feel like he's a really good player to mold your game after, especially as a shooting guard, uh, similar height, similar build. So. Yeah, I really like his play style, the way he's aggressive with the ball, the way he moves off the ball. I just try to study him as much as I can. And uh, other, there's other guys as well, but he's the main one that I got to watch him the first time uh, live in the finals, and I was just kind of blown away. So ever since then, my agent just sent me you know, a bunch of clips. I think two days ago, he sent me like hours worth of clips. I haven't got through them yet, but I'm going to definitely give him a look. And then just lastly, you know, just going into the season, it's really cool that you're going to have the opportunity to play, you know, the full 50 game season, compete for a championship. You know, did you, when you had uh, made that decision to go to the Ignite, did you know that that, uh, that was going to be a thing, that you were going to have an opportunity to compete for a championship and play a full season? No, I didn't know that we were going to be playing that many games, but, you know, it's more opportunity to play basketball and showcase yourself. And, uh, you know, if we get to compete for a championship, that's obviously the goal. You know, uh, if we're playing in a league, why not try to force that turnover? Henderson going the other way. Kick out. Pass in the corner. Mojave King knocks down the three. Assist to Henderson.